going to make a little video here showing my new patrol box that I made for camping out. We go with the scouts often and the adults uh, need a little patrol box so we can cook our meals. And so I put this one together. It's uh, made out of walnut and for uh, good strength I, I dovetail the edge here so I get a lot of stiffness in the box. I have these wooden handles on it for toting it around. The legs are four loose um, one by four oak legs that slide up into sockets and then I gave it some triangulation with this piece of oak here and you can see that I put a half lap joint there for added stiffness and the leg is held in place just with a little um, quarter inch bolt that slides into that threaded insert and that really stiffens up this joint really well you don't have to have it tight either just kind of loosely on like that it's two-sided I have one side here where that's mostly storage and then this back side which I'll show you in a moment is for serving I have this nice big wide top to play stuff on so with these latches on each end I can drop the lid and you can see all of the contents I have this little Coleman propane stove that slides out for cooking I set the stove on top here like that and I cook from the side there are many uh, useful items in here plenty of spices a little bit of cleanup a little bit of cleanup here are a couple of shelf extensions come around here on the side and I have two holes that line up with the aluminum pegs and they slide in there like that knock it in and that shelf stays put I, I can slip in a bolt right here to keep it from sliding out and I have one for this other side here and that slides in and knocks in like that so that gives us plenty of work surface to place all kinds of nice items again all kinds of good cooking cooking items see a coffee pot tucked in back there a couple of cutting boards a couple of maple cutting boards a little notepads always handy on a camp out more junk placed in those little boxes you see I have a little Coleman stainless stacking pot set back there a little first aid kit up underneath there's a little utensil cubby foil and some hot gloves of course some good coffee back here a little propane cylinder there's another propane cylinder tucked back there more spices and there's some little hot mitts The little stove, it's just a basic propane camping stove. I have this little anti-slip mat that I put up underneath it. Um, you know, moving pots and everything around on there just keeps it in place. Around here on the serving side, Again, a nice big table surface with the chain supports. Here's some cleanup items. I made this to serve four. So uh, I have four sets of dishes in here. Um, the plate, the plate dish, dishes tilt out like that tilt it out for easy access and they slide right out of there this little 
this little uh, plate holder is just on a pivot, rocks back and forth, chain stops it, and the plates slide in. Over here, the bowls are held in place. Made a little, a little uh, cleat there for the bowls to tip out. Good place for napkins right there. And uh, here are some four stainless coffee cups. Just rest right into that box. When I lift the lid, the lid goes right up flat against there and keeps everything from falling out. I, um, I use these insulated stainless mugs because um, the mugs that came with this red kit here get hot and uh, burn yourself really easy with that. So I went to these stainless mugs here. Uh, and more stuff, a little flashlight and more seasonings and toothpicks, matches, all kinds of little doodads in there that make life convenient out in the woods. And here's a little roll of a set of four eating utensils. Without all the gear in the box, just the box itself weighs about 25 pounds. It's not terribly difficult to move around with one person. Uh, but when, it, when it's loaded down with all the gear, um, it does get a little heavy. Two people uh, do need to move it. But for dump camping, just driving up and dumping all your stuff out of your car and setting up camp, uh, this is really handy. So I hope you enjoy it. Got some ideas for your box. Um, I didn't. The only thing I measured for uh, was the stove because I wanted to slip the stove up in there, and I made these cubbies sized to fit the propane cylinder. So uh, I just pretty much measured what I had and made the box fit my gear. So um, aside from those initial measurements. That was about um, all I did for plans. Made up everything as I went. The little plate holder and all these things were just sized to fit my gear. So, I hope you enjoy it.